I um, was first diagnosed in March of 2021. The weight of everything with just life in general, but then also now this extra pressure and an extra, you know, added stress, it, it does make it difficult. I'm a special education teacher with high school students, and so I was working the job. You know, I was on my last day of right before spring break, and then married with, with two kids. So yeah, life was, life was good as a young man and parent and, and husband. I had a pain in my side and put up with it for about a week and we were actually supposed to go on a family trip uh, for spring break. And so this was right before spring break and my wife said, you know, why don't you just go into the ER? I was thinking it was indigestion, um, gas, something like that. I said, go straight to the ER. It'll be the quickest. And when he got to the ER, you know, he kind of was updating me and I was taking care of the kids and it got to be about nine o'clock. And he finally wrote me back and said, I'm going in for a CT scan. They found blood clots, a couple different blood clots um, to my spleen and that was what was causing the pain. And then what was also discovered at the same time was um, a mass on the tail of my pancreas. We did not go on vacation because I actually stayed in the hospital for um, two days. My first thought was probably, you know, why, like, why me, you know, the age, uh, you know, 36. You know, you think of cancer, um, and you always think of, you know, people in their 60s, 70s, 80s, all of a sudden getting this news and then this kind of wave of emotion. What is next and, and kind of going to that, you know, kind of far place of, you know, death. We're saving money for retirement and we were going to travel and do all these things and, you know, we're, we're young, we were just finally getting to the point where it was like, okay, we're, we're really settled financially. We have young kids, we have a great house. We were really hitting our stride and this definitely, you know, knocked us for a loop. Anybody with cancer in um, the immediate family knows how expensive it is. Everything was okay to now this huge health factor um, that kind of changed everything and has changed these past two years. Now there's going to a lot more doctor's appointments. You know, I was, you know, pretty healthy before. I would see the doctor, you know, kind of once a year for a physical, and now I'm, you know, in there multiple times per week. The social aspects of, like, you're the person that has cancer and everybody knows that, and that's kind of the, um, you know, the thing that is kind of the topic and of discussions. and you know, maybe it's something you don't even want to necessarily discuss further. You can't really go a day without thinking, has he had enough water? Is he eating okay today? What's the next week looking like with doctor's appointments? And so, yeah, we, well, we've been very fortunate in that day to day that most of the time things are kind of status quo. Um, all of it has been difficult. Just knowing as much as, you know, kind of I did about it with my uncle, uh, it wasn't a surprise, but, you know, just it's, I learned a lot more about um, genetics and the, mu you know, mutations and all that as well too, you know, through this process. The genetic mutation and having BRCA has helped with treatment and different treatment options. All of his, uh, you know, my cousins, his his uh, daughters and, and son have gotten tested and then their kids as well too. So, and some have had the, the BRCA and some have not. It was really once I became diagnosed that I think kind of a closer connection um, was formed with, with him and then especially even his wife and just kind of we were able to talk about our experiences together 
just to be able to have somebody close to you that is going through the same thing. You know, did bring us closer together, you know, the last few years before he passed away. And just, and it did, you know, kind of solidify that, that family connection even, even more. There have been things that, you know, I've done to try to alleviate that and, you know, kind of through some, uh, you know, journaling and, and kind of doing that. And then also kind of meeting with some survivors as well too. Advocacy has, has kind of given all of this a little bit more purpose. It has helped to see other survivors and to hear other stories and to also to be able to give others my story as well too. I started reading a lot more, um, something that just kind of, you know, you get focused on kind of somebody else's life, whether it's a, you know, a biography or something that's, you know, a fiction story and just kind of escape that, you know, kind of that what's going on in your own life. You know, I still have my work life, I still have my personal life, and is it interrupted? Sure, but it's, I still have a part that is separate from cancer. Treatment overall, just kind of that whole process has been, um, you know, it's tiring, it's overwhelming, it's a lot to, you know, to kind of take in. Kind of living between scans and things like that and having that pressure of, you know, what is the scan going to say? You know, because that's going to determine the next steps in treatment. That's going to determine, you know, possibly your life. Integrative medicine is something that we have um, started to combat the um, side effects and to also, um, you know, be able to handle the, the cancer and keep the body in, in the best shape and condition as possible. And so I do believe that that has helped to still be here 50 years from now um, would be great. And, um, but also I think I would love to see advances in, in cancer and pancreatic cancer specifically, as little attention as it gets, it's, it, it impacts quite a few lives and many of us are examples of that. And so, you know, with groups like Project Purple, I think there's, it's, things are becoming, are getting better for sure. And hopefully with, you know, um, increased attention and, you know, that can lead to early testing, that can lead to more clinical trials and hopefully just, you know, getting the word out there that there can be some real changes coming up.